So we're here with the Call to Chivalry Summer Camp, campaigning against abortion. We have 35 summer camp participants, 9 dads, and 15 members. This is going to be a good campaign. Uh, I'm Josh, I'm from uh, Illinois, Northern Illinois. I'm Jeremy Slightly, and from the Dayton, Ohio area. I have a 14-year-old Dominic, uh -huh. and then a 12-year-old Benedict. I'm Peter Dowd, from Col uh, Colorado, but live in Virginia. Michelangelo Santelli, I was born in New York, but now I live in Ohio. And I came to this camp because I wanted to be around a lot of guys. Because I go to a boy and girl school, I figured that it would be, it'd be a good chance for me to get out and hang around with men. What did you think of the campaign yesterday? Oh, it was really cool. There was a lot of supporters, a lot of supporters going down the road. We got a few semi, semi truck honks. It was great. Did you get a lot of honks yesterday? On yeah, Canada? I got a ton oh, of yeah. honks. Thousands, I not love thousands, honks. Hundreds. Honk! Honk! The best honk was probably somebody was just hanging on the horn. And I love that. I think that was the best today, don't you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Somebody may have said something to me. It wasn't literally to me, it was more plural. You have no right, he said that. It's like, I'm thinking, well, what right did we not have? There is something under there. Today we're going to do a hike in Grand Canyon, PA. And last night we slept in these tents that the dads very kindly set up for us here. Asking for our ladies' protection throughout the day. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Do you think you can make 10 miles? 10 mile hike? What do you think? Uh, I'm like, 10 miles? You're not sure? 10 mile hike? 10! How many miles was it? It was three miles there and then three miles back, so six miles in total. Um, it was really beautiful there. Uh, there's like three places where you could see the mountains. You're like 100, or 1,500 feet above sea level or something. Um, and the mountains are just beautiful. It was, it was hard, but it was, it was fun. It was really fun. Are we going to have to hike back? Yeah, right. What do you think? Are you just going to stay here? Oh, wow. You ready for inspection? Yeah. Is this your room? No, my room's at the end. Can you show me your room? Yeah. Y'all ready for inspection? Yes, yes sir. sir! You know, we've got to thank our donors because this is all new. We put this in last summer. All the rooms are entirely updated. So you got all these drawers here. It's really nice. What did you think of the inspection every morning? Did you pass? Yeah, I passed basically all of them. I got a few push-ups here and there, but I like the inspection because it makes you make your bed, comb your hair, get everything in order in your room, and then you start over every day. It's not like you're in a messy room that you can't even walk in. What did I do wrong? Look at that. Do you see oh. this? Oh, that. Yeah. yeah. I passed, but I did I... also fail. I also failed. On the left side. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Okay, so do you see this over here? You see how it's kind I of forgot floppy? to do that. Yep, go ahead and tuck it in. Five? <laughs> Let's do six. <laughs> how many do I get? Same, six. One, two. How was the treasure hunt? What team were you on? Uh, I was on St. John Bosco. Okay. So, yeah, we didn't get the treasure, but we had to carry a 180 pound guy probably about a mile up and down hills on a stretcher, so four guys, and we couldn't put them down. I told them that with a handicap, they cannot put the stretcher on the ground. So what do they do? They took a shoe off each and put it underneath. So he's technically not touching the ground. How did y'all enjoy the treasure hunt? I, I think it was super cool. It turns out the treasure chest was right underneath the fireplace. So that's where the treasure is? Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Under there? Under that. So is that the real clue on that arrow? Oh no. Your clue is on the bow that that launched me. You ready? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say a prayer. I'm gonna camp this thing right now. Ready up, Christian? Red Frost! St. Sebastian! Red Frost! Let him read it. Your clue is on the bow that launched me. Is it on the bow? Yeah, found it. Just as Caesar. I know. Let's go to other. So, Leo, what's the clue? Mary. What is Stella? Stella Mars? So, there's our lady next to the water. They're looking all around her for the clue. Hey, look at that orange rocket. Oh, there it, it is! Yeah. There it is! Yeah. Found it! Right. So I just decided to start digging with my foot in the fire pit and then I just found a trash bag hidden under the dirt there. I got a Jolly Ranchers, Lollipops, Pistachios, uh, Snickers, Hershey, Tickers, and Cream. So you like these? Uh, they're not bad. See, it's not all in hell. Yeah, it's not all in <laughs> What was your hour for the all-night vigil in front of the Relic of the True Cross? I was 4 a.m. 12 to 1. 1 to 2. Oh, wow. The axes on the altar. That was cool. The helmets. What did you do during the vigil? Um, I prayed a rosary, a whole rosary, so the three five-decade rosaries, the um, joyful, sorrowful, and glorious mysteries. So it's beautiful in that you have this, this silence, profound silence during the grand silence and then the middle of the night, and you're with your son there. Um, and then, you know, just a dad in the background, instead of the, the one that's maybe leading the rosary, leading the prayers, whatever, just, I'm back, I'm praying, and I get to observe uh, my sons who are, who are there, you know, praying and devoted and, and uh, meditating on the truths of the faith, the peace of, of the true cross that is there in our presence. And as uh, Mr. Thomas Schneider mentioned, you know, this piece of the true cross may have the very blood of our Lord soaked into it. So that was very, very moving. Uh, and it's it's also a challenge, right, to get up when you're not ready to get up. Favorite game? Other than uh, prison break? Shield ball. Either shield ball or French football. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shield Favorite ball is pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Tackling people. Yeah. They're getting thrown because I let go too early. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. no. So what was the best meeting, do you think? Uh, I like the Swiss Guard meeting. That was really cool. What was y'all's favorite meeting? I don't know. The I think it's, of Malta I think, and the, I think it's the yeah, Battle of Lepanto. Yeah, the Battle of Lepanto. The, the Battle, Battle of Lepanto, Lepanto clearly yeah. stands out over the others. I say Battle of Lepanto. Battle Siege of Malta. Siege of Malta. Yeah. Okay. They're both amazing. Those are the two best. Okay. All the talks were fabulous. The way that uh, Mr. Mitzel brings it all to the faith and, and demonstrates all this. It's not just this brutality, you know, better ways to hack your opponent to death, but uh, it really is all about you know, this, this chivalrous Catholic man and how you go out to defend the weak and defend the church. I think a real highlight for the boys, uh, some of the other talks, even when the air conditioning, they may have been a little bit distracted, but when the swords came out, Oh, the hands went up. They were all excited. He could hardly get through his talk for all the questions and comments, and everyone was excited to see all the stuff. The highlight of the camp for me was seeing a combination of the discipline and the faith. Daily rosary is, is a must for any Catholic family. But then to see all the boys together praying every prayer together, you know, devoted to Our Lady. All the dads are lined up, the members are there. And that happens a couple of times a day. You really brought in this, this discipline and that is where the war is for souls right there. You're going to be around a lot of good guys and they're really fun to talk with. They try their hardest in everything, and they're really good role models for you. One thing I really like about the Call to Chivalry is it takes the faith into everything, 
and there's it's not just a theme like we're going to study trees you know it's a theme of all of you young men are called to defend the church called to be true catholic men and giving them a a guide on what that means and how they need to progress and grow and move towards that